Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome to my shop. I've been asked this question many times um, and that is how to assign this little red uh, trimmer for throttle trim for um, a turbine jet. So it's actually pretty simple and I'll show you how I did it. The idea is that the red uh, slider would basically operate the engine cut, meaning when it's upwards uh, the engine will not be cut and then when it's down the engine will be cut so let's do it if we go into the menu first step would be to create a logic switch which is already created here and let's go into it and see what we have the source is uh, pot 3 you simply move the slider and it will oh, it will auto select pot 3 and then the type or the function is a um, smaller than X and minus 95 that means that this switch is active when this slider is on the bottom under minus 20, 95% and you can see if I push the trim up then it's inactive and if I push it down it's active okay so that basically monitors whether we have lowered our red slider then you want to head back to your throttle mixer and you want to enable the engine cut function or actually you want to enable two functions the first would be low position trim uh, by default it's disabled like so but we enable it and that allows the throttle to have a trim on its bottom edge and the second would be enabling the throttle cut sorry not the throttle hold but the throttle cut with that specific logic switch we just created which is LS1 in this case so let's say we have it all closed and we want to enable throttle cut we want to open throttle cut and on the active condition choose LS1 other than that uh, for trigger and idle out output value you don't really need to do anything and now if we head back to the outputs menu again I'll tilt my radio a little bit so you can see so the throttle will not be working when the red slider is at the bottom. It would be at a constant minus 100. Then if I push it up, you can see the jump in the idle, into the idle position and then throttle is working. Again, if I push it down under minus 95, it would go to under minus 95% of the slider. The throttle output would drop down to minus 100. Check this out. Here you go. That's it. The next thing you can do, uh, which is... Uh, just convenient is create a special function let's remove this one it's unused create a special function that's also triggered uh, by the same logic switch of um, the action play track active condition would be logic switch one and then let's say we want to have a track that says um, engine off or something like that Excuse my long scrolling. I have a lot of voice files on my SD card. Let's try to find under E the engine off. Um, yeah, here we go. Engine off. Now every time we shut our engine off. Oh well, it's in Hebrew, but it's saying engine off basically. You can do the same that every time you push this uh, red slider up. It would say that the engine is ready to start, which is another very cool function. So that's about it. I hope this uh, video is very clear and would help some of you turbine guys running uh, FreeSky. So as always, thank you for watching and see you guys at the field.